in today's video, let's grill some squid on the beach. Let's go! Of squid. This one is very big and this one, I think this one called pamukkuai. It's like a little little one. So I'm gonna grill this one on fire uh, on the charcoals and I'm gonna grill this one on the pan. We're gonna start by lighting up the charcoal first. We got the charcoal over here in the grill and we're gonna light it up. Okay, I got a new lighter. done and now we're gonna clean the squid I'm gonna show you how to clean the seafood proper way so it won't be fishy so all you need is corn flours and salt this is corn flours and this is salt a little bit with the water in and the salt That and then you mix gently massage oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I squeezed it too hard I think Just look at the beautiful view behind me. Okay, now it's done. We're gonna rinse it off with clean water. And I'm going to show you how to marinate it. Okay. To marinate the squid, you need drinking water, uh, green leaf soy sauce, uh, light soy sauce, and dark sweet soy sauce. And uh, if you have chimric, that would be nice. But I can't fly chimric and I have a food coloring the chimric color that's all you need and some cane sugar a uh, coconut sugar dark soy sauce green lid soy sauce Lamp sugar a little bit light soy sauce. Oh, I'll put on the lid. Light soy sauce. And then food coloring. You can skip this step, but I want it to be very nice and beautiful. Just like 
grilled sweet on uh, Thai uh, street food. Just add a little bit first and then mix everything together and soak them around 10-15 minutes. See how beautiful these? Look at that. Want to be a nice and yellow, orange yellow sort of color. We're gonna leave this rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, this is the ingredient for the seafood dips, the best dips if you want to have um, seafood in Thailand. They have so many different recipes, but my recipe is very easy and simple. If you want to know how to cook this one, then the link of the recipe is under the description. And look what I got. I got these new toys. It's like a blender, hand blender. So you can just do this and they mix all the ingredients together. And I'm very excited to try that. We're going to add chili and the garlic and the coriander root in here. One chili is enough. I'm not like, uh, I don't like spicy food. No one can see. <laughs> yeah, one chili and two garlic and one coriander root. Plum sugar. And we mix this up first. Put everything together. We we'll see how much can we rely on this item. <laughs> Why it doesn't go? Why it doesn't go already? This one is like less than a dollar. It's like a new toy. Okay, one more. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. For one dollar, it, <laughs> it gets stuck. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, look, it's not that bad. Not that bad. But we're gonna go uh, on stack. I think. Lucky, I have this one. This one can rely on. Hello, on friends. Look at that. Go on style. And now we just add lime. This is the best, best life ever. And then fish sauce. The fish sauce that I recommend is this brand, from this brand. Okay, taste test. Wow, sweet, sour, and spicy. Exactly what I need. All right, now the seafood dip is done. The squid is now ready to put on stove. We're gonna grill the giant one, this big one first, because this one needs to be grilled directly to the charcoal. Yummy.
And this one, we're going to grill on the pan. We leave this one here and wait for that to cook. We try to cut the shrimp like this for it to cook quicker. Smells so good. The squid is cooked. Uh, let's go see here. Yeah. Look at that beautiful color. Wow. Okay, we're gonna put it on here. I have this beautiful plate right here. Gonna add out the squid. Whoa. One, two. Go ahead. Here, yeah, look at this. Whoa. What more do you want, baby? This is so good. You've got grilled shrimps, seafood dips, fresh garnish. But we're not gonna try it now. We're gonna grill. A little baby one. Our time for the little baby. I'm gonna grill directly to the charcoal. One, two, three, four, five. All right, the squid is now cooked. Just look at how beautiful that is. We're gonna put it on the tray and then we're gonna eat it. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. They are just so creamy. And here you have it guys, the grilled squid on the beach, so private. I'm gonna go enjoy it now, taste test. Let's try the giant squid first, see how they're going. It smells amazing. Dip it in the seafood sauce. Mmm. The squid is so fresh. Mmm. And the cucumber. Mm. Mm. So fresh. So much flavor. Not fishy at all. But now, let's try this one. To be honest, this is the first time I tried this. And I don't want to eat like how I see people on online eat it which is to bite the head off and the juice come out so it's gonna be looking a little bit messy but we try that i really 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 need want to try this one okay the head just dip it in the sauce mmm sweet very sweet a little bit salty though because i think on the head the whole up are like the salt juice the sea juice sea water so a bit of a little bit of lime mm, so good 
but I feel like my tongue is now black because of the ink. Mm. Let's try one more. One more. Oh. Mm. All black. And then coconut juice. Mm. The best coconut juice ever. Wow. I'm gonna go enjoy this guy. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. The recipe for the dips is under the description. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye bye.